Good morning, folks. We have some interesting articles for you today. A look at the sun as well. And I can tell you that tomorrow morning there will not be a show unless something major happens. Family vacation travel trumps tomorrow. But let's get started with the last 24 hours on the sun and find the star in a continued state of quiet. There have been no flares despite a sunspot count near 200, no eruptive events of note, and the coronal holes are either small or at too high a latitude to be relevant. Over the last 36 hours, a new sunspot group formed north and ahead of the Big Umbra. So far, it's been pretty quiet, but we definitely can't sleep on the flare risk at the moment or the plasma filaments, which are numerous and writhing in the corona as we speak. We will have our eyes on those flares, but again, remember, we do expect things to remain somewhat calm until the 5.9 month cycle uptick later this month or in early August. So let's go to the articles where we begin with the dedicated effort on the Beaufort Gyre. We learned last month that it has plateaued in accumulation of fresh water and is readying to release its cold climate bomb. Ocean scientists aren't sleeping on this and aim to focus significantly on the gyre in the years ahead. Little golf clap there. Excellent paper up next describing how temperature and precipitation is modulated by several factors including sunspots and several oscillations known to be impacted by solar activity like ENSO chalk one up for solar forcing of the terrestrial climate. But the top story today hits the galactic magnetic field. We have seen it in the Milky Way and in other galaxies, not only the poloidal field wrapped around the galaxy, but the threading magnetic flux tubes through the midplane. This is how it works at stars as well, including our solar system and in the lab, where those fields cut through the rippling electric field of the central plane with the undulating magnetic reversal point in the system. It has actually been a couple decades since it was proven mathematically, and as veteran observers recall, we've shared dozens of papers on the observed wavy formation of the central disk. Today, they're looking at how cosmic rays impact that structure and the magnetic fields threading the system. We have moved beyond the identification of it to a presumed state of the feature and outside potential impacts, with them paying special attention to the gas density here. This is what would be in between the ripples, and its alternating up and down pattern now joins the list of things that go beyond mathematical expectation and into observational reality. This would be super awesome science if it wasn't the thing changing the entire solar system and set to trigger the solar micronova in the years ahead. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with the resources below the video in the description box. We likely won't be around tomorrow morning, but when we return, it'll be right here. Right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.